Right, yeah, quickly put your shoes in. So this one here, turns on and off. Okay, I borrowed a charger, plugged in. Okay, this one here, put it on, doesn't light up. But obviously charging, take it off. That one is only on for 10 seconds. It does that, okay. This one here, does nothing, put on charge. Okay, I don't know if it's a certain sweet spot or anything. Okay, do that. And then it does that. And then it cycles through the lights. Okay, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it now on charge for a bit. Right, cool. Oh, okay. Here we go. Some lights inside there flashing as well. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, and that definitely needs work. You can see that it's, it's come out, you know, where it's obviously not attached. Just, okay, that's fine. Right, yep, I'll put up there on the wireless um, Nightmare Free Ones. So basically I'm gonna have to remove the electronics from these. So Gary wants to basically be able to wear these shoes. And honestly, because of the quality of workmanship, like the soldering, um, in fact, everything's covered in glue and there's, there's a few blatantly um, broken connections in there that you know could go anywhere the, both the shoes aren't the same they don't have the same wiring so whilst they have a similar very 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 similar board it does a slightly different component on the wiring to the board is different on both um the black piece on there actually is actually if you can see that with a symbol on that's actually the um the receiver and this one here is snapped off so when i saw this originally everyone everything was covered in thick glue obviously i had to be able to sort of get the panel out so obviously i was pulling off the glue and then levering the panel out, leaving the glue out, that kind of stuff, you know. Obviously I was doing it as carefully as possible, but end day everything was caked in glue. And I just thought that that was a gold terminal. But no, when you actually look really closely on the back of it, there's a wafer thin remains of um, the wireless receiver. And the wireless receiver, part down there, if you can see that, is actually folded over multiple, multiple times. So it's folded in half, if you can see that. And then the thin part there should also be plugged into the um, mini USB on here. Normally, see um, from looking on eBay, those things there will just plug into the USB on the bottom of your phone. Then they then just glue to the back of your um, phone flat, and not be folded over multiple times, with creating a weak point. Um, it looks like also, like I mentioned before, the shoe has been made, you know, by a, in a different period or by a different person. For example, because you know the battery battery orientation, electronics are different. You know, or this shoe here is an older, you know, or one of the shoes is a. You know an older shoe than the other shoe because they have a like, different colored wiring as well in the, in the back which you'll see on prior videos this one here you see if you see the board on there it's only got a few wires attached to it and that's the battery i just put in as well to test it or this one here well i've repaired it or started to repair it, i should say it's got multiple wires attached to it to a similar board um and i say gary wants to be able to like actually wear these shoes occasionally so Honestly, where it's, everything's covered in glue, if I wanted, whilst I probably could get these working, um, I don't think that they'd ever be reliable to wear. And I'd want to personally remove all of the glue, remove the electronics from the shoe, solder properly, neatly, if you can see any of this. There's awful connections down here, where they're just sort of multiple lengths of wire attached badly and soldered badly. I can't be, um spending hours and hours and hours on this and obviously charging gary for it potentially not to work um and i'd really want and obviously i want to do a, a neat job on electronics so that would involve removing everything and you know that means just going down those sort of one of those rabbit holes you know it could take freaking ages as well um so what the option now and um, which we're going to do is i'm going to remove the electronics gary's happy with that and fit my, my mine and james's custom loom which is a really nice neat loom setup that powers the two EL panels and the MAG King um, 3.1 LEDs. Um, it's um, rechargeable via uh, mini USB, um, on off strobe, that kind of options on it, much neater. And the battery can be removed and replaced easily. So what I do is I mount electronics somewhere, as there's tons and tons of room in that shoe, where he's obviously hollowed out the shoe. I'll be able to mount the electronics properly. I'll then backfill 
the um, cutout part, which normally would have foam in using thick rubber, like this sort of rubber here that I always use, um, to make the shoe wearable, then put like an inner sole in and basically have access to the battery, which would be attached to a socket. So when the battery dies, you know, which could be a year, two years, three years time, it will depend on how often you charge these LiPo batteries, it seems like. Then um, Gary will be able to, be able to just un move the inner sole, sorry, move the inner sole, un pull it out, pull out the battery, unhook it um, from the uh, connector, get a new one off eBay, plug it in, job done. So that is that's a, well, that's a, that's a dream, that's a strategy. So the plan is to fit it, fit the loom to um, his shoes, and also to um, a pair of AliExpress shoes. So I've already pre-made um, two looms, and just waiting for the um, correct batteries and correct connectors to arrive from eBay. But yeah, it's a real, unfortunately, it's just a real mess in there. And I feel that it's cool for a showpiece if you can get it right working, but it's not good for wearing, basically. And there we go. And obviously this is all covered over just to protect it, from, to add some additional protection when I was doing like soldering and gluing and things like that, you know, so that should help and give us sort of an extra layer of protection. Cool, right, let me crack on, remove electronics. Um, looms are all prepared and go from there. So yeah, quick look at this one. So yeah, this is obviously that part there, the receiver. And now it's, and that's sort of how it is, you know, just sort of like fitted like that and bent over and stuff. So I'm not saying that's absolutely, I'm not saying that's awful, but you know, it doesn't, I don't I can't imagine that's gonna be helping any reliability aspects. Obviously we know space is a premium, of course. Um, this is the reverse side of the board. So you can see what I mean, yeah, like there's a lot of components in there. Um, no. I mean it's all of course of course it's all like clever stuff but it's just it's just a mess that's all but it is of course a very very clever idea but yeah you can see there's a lot of stuff in there but anyway I'm going to um, remove this all now um also need to be careful what I'm, what I'm doing of course um naturally I'd like to move the entire lot but I think realistic I'd probably have to cut say the wires off the board here to obviously leave all the wires that I need because of course some of these wires here will be for um, the lights for the LEDs it's weird where there's a lot but I guess the LED the, the lights on this particular shoe here they also can also be, like, rotate around like flashing ones and doing various other things so I'd imagine he's probably sort of soldered on multiple lengths of wire onto the LEDs you know so and obviously I just need three wires you know the two positives and uh, the black one for the for the um, for the earth um, of course, got some more additional green wires here going up the side here as well into the double switches. I don't need those switches there, so I'll have to do something with those switches. Like basically remove them, because I'm going to mount a switch somewhere else, probably, probably just on the back here potentially, as long as it doesn't cause a problem. So I need better sort of, so Gary better plug it in and charge it and switch it on and off, and for it to be as hidden as as hidden as possible. You know, so yeah, there's a few things going on in there, but yeah, all good, all good. It's pretty exciting. Nice, here we go, so this is all out. So look, look at that little, very clever, but um, sort of very messy setup. Apologies at Electric X if you're watching this, but yeah, that's the sort of stuff we're dealing with here, you know. I mean, that's honestly awful, awful dog shit, <laughs> sorry. Right, that's that. I'm actually gonna at some point um, remove all of that glue. Actually, I probably just now, now it's off. I can uh, heat. I can heat the glue with a hot air gun. Hopefully, I can peel it off and then just see yeah, see out of interest. You know what is underneath there as well. And there's the board in this part here. And that leaves us with a ton of wiring. So the two black wires, two sets of black wires. That's easy. Those look like they're probably very likely going up to the switch. Uh, I'm not sure what the green one does, but that looks like it's going up the same hole as well. So um. And those are uh, those yellow, reds, and blacks at the bottom. Like I mentioned, there should be like normally three going to the LEDs. So I'm kind of thinking there's probably multiple wires going to the LEDs on those. So what we have to do is um, just heat up this panel here, um, peel this open, and then I can see what's attached to the LEDs, and then ultimately cut off the ones which aren't needed, leaving me with just with with the original three wires on. Hopefully, and hopefully there's no additional weird things in there. Um, yeah. Excellent. And I've got sort of wires in there as well for the um, EL 
panels. So looks like you've still got the um, black and red one now, which is good connecting up to number four terminal just underneath it there. So that's good that they're still there. And of course there should be as well wires going up to the, um, the strap as well. Okay, good stuff. I'm not gonna bother particularly filming the other one, I don't think, but um, let's, this one here will do for the moment. Yeah, quick look at these. So what I did is I just heat up this panel here. So what I'll do is I'll be able to reheat it and then just um, form it back to the right shape. And obviously then it'll need to re-glue them back in and stuff. Actually, probably actually, and also padding out as well, because it looks like it's obviously fair play removed um, padding from in there, of course. But yeah, that should be fine to get that back looking like decent. Um, but yeah, there's the switches. Cool. Excellent. Yeah, nice switch is actually nice, very nice. Okay, that's good. That means I can now pull the, um, the wiring through. Um, I'll, have a, I'll have a little think first in case I can do anything with the switch actually. So I might actually attach a bit of string to the bottom, pull a bit of string up to the top so it's poking out here. That way, if I wanted to then do something with the um, switch I'm going to use to mount around this sort of section, I can then um, pull it through from the bottom, for example, or from the top. So yeah, it's a little strategy I'm going to do now. Cool. Right, yeah, it's looking looking good. This is um pretty cool, actually. This is obviously how we got the LEDs to work. They're custom, sort of like a 3D printed style board. And it's with obviously multiple you can't tell from the angle there, but there's a lot of wire. So obviously all of those, all of that batch of wiring there, the um, red, yellow, and black, they all go to the LEDs, obviously, to make it flash and do weird things, which is um, pretty cool. So I'll have to obviously remove that anyway, have a look at that, suss it out, and end there we just want it to light up um, all at once. So I'll have to um, do that. Um, obviously, when you heat the panel up there, you, of course, heat the nail varnish modification on that, but that is normally just literally plain clear um, nail varnish so I should be able to just be able to put some on that and have that back looking exactly as it was. I haven't bothered heating it to pull all of it off just in case it's some sort of complex amazing product but I feel that some plain nail varnish on that should sort that out. If not I'll remove, I'll, um, remove the bubble and put my bubbles um, in and then nail varnish those if you want some clear. Right, yes, yeah, so this is actually very, very cool. So yeah, 3D printed, which is a great idea. Really great idea, actually. Um, LEDs just look like they're just soldered on um, in sort of sequence. So it doesn't look too difficult for that. And yeah, I'll remove all the glue, but it's obviously got, um, you know, like what looks like three sets of wires, um, a set for each, which is pretty, pretty nice. Pretty like, I like that a lot, actually, that's a good idea. And also that fits really nicely. But um, for us, obviously, we just want it to light up um, all at once, and that's it. Cool. Right, yes, looking epic. So, all removed now. I just want to double check that those green wires there are the wires to the strap, which I believe they they are, because um, there's another wire spare. So hopefully they are. Um, LEDs are, of course, out, which are pretty fabulous. I need to say, remove the glue from that, have a good look at that sort that out but i'm like i'm loving that a lot actually because the leds are actually hard to get hold of they come in occasionally to air making um but generally speaking they're generally out of stock amazing um yeah you've got the induction part here what remains of it um you've got the board one of the boards here covered in stuff which again i'm going to um use a hot air gun and in a little bit actually just to remove all that glue just to sort of have a good look and see exactly what it is but yeah interesting thing there a lot of work gone into that um a couple other parts here as well which is cool including some stuff that i've um say uh resoldered in situ in the shoe by the way obviously if it's outside of the shoe i would do a significantly neater job but that that's pretty good from doing it bloody carefully inside the shoe you know um and of course the two switches as well and those other debris came out as well so yes that's that one there I'm going to have a quick go now, um, just removing this whilst the hot air gun's out, and then I'm going to start rocking the other shoe. Um, I won't bother filming the other shoe unless there's anything that's critically different, or I'll just do, maybe just do a quick summary at the end. So this is um, the other shoe, obviously. And actually, this is why I thought that they'd be made at different periods. Because this one here, look, is running the original right-hand side um, 3.1 LED set. Whereas the other shoe, if you've watched the video, is running a 3D printed one. 
um, different wire, different different types of wire and different color wiring. Very very different soldering. Um, very different soldering and all that sort of stuff. I'm not saying it's not the same person who did it, who did it, but it doesn't look like it's the same person who did it. It's very very different. It's been sort of cable. Um, it's been like shrink wrapped, smaller wires, nice and neat, all that sort of stuff. Yes, that's that one there. So I'm trying to be really, really careful because this big lumpsy here has been absolutely caked, literally caked in half an inch of glue. Um, and I want to retain as much of that wiring as I can as possible. But uh, yes, it's, it's all it's all it's all good. And obviously it's glued down like an absolute bandit as well as it was super freaking tight. So there shouldn't be any damage underneath underneath sorry in the key section here. All the stretch and stuff will be will be underneath there which is good cool right yep hi all so i've just um done a bit of testing so ultimately on this shoe here again it's opposite of the other shoe this one here this thick black wire does indeed go to the nike um i've just what i've done i've just unplugged it from my test loom and touched if i ultimately just touch the wires on there and it powers up beautifully these two here are are indeed when i pull them they pull on his section here and they are indeed the, the the wires left over from the switches so i've cut the switches off about here somewhere um so i'm basically just going to pull those out as far as i can just a little bit more and snip them off and then i'm not going to bother pulling out the whole loom because again it'd be all the way down here somewhere going down here somewhere behind this because you uh, electro would have probably removed this to get the wiring in and stuff there's no point removing the whole lot i'll just cut it up there but yes that is good I'm pleased, pleased with that. Um, nice base there for me to put my piece of rubber in and then probably leave the sort of, you know, inch and a half, whatever it is, two inch, sorry, two inch cut out at the end, I expect, to house the electronics, custom electronics, and um, have room for the battery. And then nice solid piece of rubber there. So when Gary wears these shoes, at least he knows that they're in the best shape that they could be for wearing. So, and they, with all these shoes, I always try my best. You know, I'm sort of working with what I can work with. You know, there's only a certain amount of room and capacity in these shoes for electronics. That's why they normally fit in the back here. Um, but obviously, I want to fit them just there because that is the best location for the technology that we've got um, at our disposal. Right, let's have a first look together. Bear in mind, it's like daylight, but I have chosen obviously a darker corner of my house. So, first one. Obviously running the, um, not the right LEDs, but just in a set of LEDs just to sort of mock it up. But doesn't look bad. Obviously, I'm, I'm interested to sort of compare it against my um, 3.1s. Also bear in mind as well, Gary, you've also got quite yellowed, you have got yellowed soles as well. So if you had a set of clear soles on there, it obviously would look better. But that doesn't look half bad at all. And that's your only option anyway. To be fair, that is your only option. <laughs> But that looks pretty damn good. Bear in mind to say this is like if I'd pan back a little bit, you know, five o'clock, you know, that looks cool. Actually, these LEDs don't look too, I'm sure they probably look worse on camera actually, but um, they actually don't look too bad, you know, to um, to um, my eyes. But yeah, I say that is very, very yellow, that panel. It'd be interesting to know actually to say, well, if you do fit the icy blue, if that makes it. You know more blue or dims yeah i'm not really sure but yeah that's cool i'll get my damn dog go and get my three point one in a second and i'm gonna have a little comparison yes hi all hello hello so yeah, actually this is a very interesting point actually and i did think this earlier so i've just obviously put my uh three point ones on charge for a little bit and this is something that i was thinking about earlier there's the color of these i was thinking that when i saw these i thought hmm they look very very blue and i knew and i knew that mine were like more like turquoise green and yes, you can indeed see that my 3.1s are the standard sort of like green and your ones are the blue on there. This is why it's kind of got me thinking, you know, it's got me thinking, you know, like, like I originally thought, are these potentially version 3s and are these version 3.1s? Because clearly there's a difference in colour on that. These do have... Um, original style panels because of course the connectors in the middle you know and I did think that because when I was sort of looking at the straps you know a few times I, I noticed that you know you can see um the straps on here you know which you do not see on um on on the ones that I've got basically 
this is why I'm thinking, you know, that these, and obviously he probably hasn't opened these, but I did know, remember when, I, when he first sent these over to me, you know, they were a bit sticky. One of them, I've repaired it since, one of them's sort of sticking out at the corner here, you know, and they were sort of bulging out a bit and all this sort of stuff, you know, and this one again, you can see the marks on there and you can't see them on these, but clearly, colour, oh, I'll get some, some light in there, blue versus green. So, and, um, yeah, so it's, to be fair, that's probably actually, I'm kind of thinking, you know, version 3, version 3.1. Nice one. 